In this episode, we show you a place that not many YouTube sailing channels go. It took us 26 days on the ocean to get here, and we feel great when we sail up the river of Suriname. But first, this is me, Kim. There is Bart, and here is Liz, our little explorer. We sold everything to explore these beautiful places with our tiny 33-foot sailboat, Tranquility. Last week we showed you how we got here and how we stayed clean during our 26 days on the Atlantic Ocean. Squall! We just crossed the fucking ocean. <laughs> so we dropped the anchor and we had a short sleep of two hours. And we just hoisted the anchor again, and now we are cruising down the Suriname River. I see you going on your alley. We need to sail 30 nautical miles up the Suriname River to get to the marina. The trip is very scenic. We just left Paramaribo behind and now we sail by Domburg, which has a mooring marina. Absolutely beautiful out here and the smell, it's like a, some sort of sweet smell in the, in the air. It's very, uh, oh, we love it. Or at least I do, Kim is inside still. But, uh, Liz is enjoying it as well. Yes. The same as you now. This is Kim. Like we're on the most beautiful part on the Suriname River. Yeah, let's wax my uh, legs because uh, I've got some hairs and I want to look good. What? Hey, look who's there! The female. Do you know that we are in Suriname? <laughs> no, I didn't know. No? What a surprise! It's that beautiful outside yeah. here. It's really beautiful. Just minutes in Suriname and you know you are in the jungle when something swims next to you. We don't know what it is. Do you have a clue? Drop a comment down below. After 26 days of movement, we docked a boat in Waterland Marine, where we get a warm welcome from our friends. Um, on a boat everything breaks and we were very in luck that during our crossing we didn't have major problems and now we are in Suriname we came in here yesterday and our water pump breaks down and our flexible water tank is leaking now so I'm just draining it down in the bilge um, uh, and it filled up and then it ripped some furniture of us apart to change the pump. It's something I do. I always have a spare water pump, so now I need to find one of those again. 
works again. We have running water again. We're in Suriname and it's uh, bloody hot. Um, we have some uh, extra fans and uh, we already we have one fan in the uh, in the saloon but um, we're not that much in the saloon but we sleep <laughs> in the four peak so we're gonna place two of these uh, on our head and upper body in the four peak um, Gaan we naartoe? Naar de politie! Yeah. To the police! To the authorities! The stamp in our passport. So that's what we go that's what we are going to do. So they told us the lady would be a difficult one, but she was very friendly. Maybe it has something to do with uh, the smile of Liz. <laughs> Ready for swimming. Yeah. As you might know, Liz took swimming lessons in the Netherlands before we left, but we did not have a chance to practice with her along the way due to very cold ocean water. We found out there is a swimming pool at Dumber. She became a bit rusty, but the skills are still there. Ready? Go! How do you lift? And Liz drives. Nou, Liz. Helemaal goed. Kun je naar papa toe komen draaien? Nee. En dan ja, gaat zo. Ik ga niet zwemmen. Ja, kun je wel. Doe je mondje dicht. Ga je mondje onder water. Dicht. Mondje dicht. Zwemmen, 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 zwemmen. En je bent er. Windbreaker is our neighbor in the marina. Elsa and Edgar bought a boat almost 25 years ago and whilst living on their boat they did a complete refit all by themselves. They also crossed the Atlantic just as we did. Liz had the privilege to learn the refit skills from Edgar. If you want to know more about this very unique sailing vessel check out their YouTube channel in the link down below. We are packing our bags for five days Mama. in the jungle. So let's see. Oh! Good so. Good so.
wooden boat made out of a long tree trunk takes us from Achoni over the upper Suriname River to Dampati in two and a half hours. We are in the Amazon. Along this river there are a lot of different villages where the Moran live. Waking up in our lodge in Dampati. There are a lot of sulas, rapids, you can visit. We visit the Tapa Watra Sula, the biggest one, and take a swim. Even though the water is brown, it is very clear and the local people can drink the water. The water contains minerals of more than 5,000 different plants and trees. They advise us not to drink it, because we are not used to it. Hey Liz, have you a lekker a pannenkoek? Oh, lekker! <laughs> Our 
Who's this, uh, <laughs> this coolest guy of them all? Nothing. That's life, folks. <laughs> it's a very brutal yeah. monkey. It's because we have a banana with us, and they have been feed it by other guests with banana and now they're uh, very aggressive to get their food well they're not aggressive to the people but Of course, a walk through the rainforest is also part of our journey. Our guide asked us, what do we see when we look at the forest? Where we see a lot of impressive trees and beautiful flowers. He taught us that the local people look at the forest as a market and pharmacy. That was a really beautiful eye-opener for all of us. This is the bullet end. The bite is really painful. The sound of a telephone tree. And be careful because some trees have defense mechanisms. Did you know Tarzan hangs on aerial roots and not on a vine? Because vines grow up and are not strong. Yes, love, love. In the next episode, we will show you more about this beautiful country. Well, this was it. If you have any questions, please let us know. And for now, goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Fair winds to you all.